Now to more of my exclusive interview with Jonathan Majors, the actor who was convicted of misdemeanor reckless assault and harassment just as his career was taking off. Majors says he always intended to take the witness stand, but didn't in the end because he felt the prior testimony was so compelling that there was nothing else for him to add. But now that the jury has spoken, he felt it was time to tell his story. It has been very, very, very uh, hard and very difficult and uh, confusing in many ways. Jonathan Majors breaking his silence just weeks after a Manhattan jury found him guilty of misdemeanor reckless assault and harassment of his ex-girlfriend Grace Jabari. The actor at times emotional. Oh, sorry. Um, you know, I haven't, I haven't seen my daughter in a, in a, in a, in a long time. You know, and um, a lot of it has to do with this situation. In a split verdict, Majors was found not guilty of two other misdemeanors, assault with intent to cause physical injury and aggravated assault. They're saying you didn't intend right. to injure her, right. but the result of your recklessness right. injured her. Right. Were you reckless? I was reckless with her heart. Mm. Not with her body. Not with her body. The physical altercation started inside an SUV after Majors received a suggestive text message from another woman. Hours later, after Majors placed a 911 call, police found Jabari unconscious on the closet floor in their apartment, as seen in this body camera footage. You feel that you did anything wrong on the night of March 25th, if you could relive that night? I wouldn't have picked her up. I wouldn't have picked her up. I wouldn't have put her back in the car. I wouldn't have tried to keep her in the car. I would have gotten out that car and ran immediately. The two met back in 2021 on the set of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. The prosecution has described your relationship with Grace Jabari as tumultuous and abusive. How would you describe that two-year relationship? I loved Grace. Our relationship was, it was not healthy, you know, and that began to reveal itself over time. Why'd you stay? I, I, was, I was scared. Um, with the red flags, I found that, I, and I use this word, I said, oh, this is dangerous. This is months before uh, um, the incident. I should have been brave. I should have said, no, this isn't working. And I should have walked away. Um, and I didn't. Troubling signs in the relationship were revealed when prosecutors presented text messages where majors expressed suicidal thoughts, saying, maybe I'm such a monster and horrible man that I don't deserve it and should just kill myself. Were you suicidal? The ideations of removing myself huh. from situations permanently is a thought that I've had, um, I mean, since I was a kid, you know, since I was a you know, young boy on the farm in Texas, you know, it's not there anymore, you know. I've done that, I'm, I'm doing the work to, to keep it at bay and make sure it's not there anymore. Through it all, Major's new girlfriend, actress Megan Good, has remained by his side, even present for our interview. How would you describe your relationship? She's an angel. She's held me down like, like a, like a, like a Coretta, you know. I'm so blessed to have her, you know. The relationship is still fresh, but, you know, I think I, I found her. The March 2023 incident thrust Major's dating history into the forefront. A Rolling Stone article back in June detailed multiple allegations of abusive behavior dating back to Major's relationships in college. Allegations Majors vehemently denies. His attorneys offered past partners to defend him. Have you ever had issues with domestic abuse? I've, I've witnessed it, um, but never participated. You know, I mean, I've, I've, I've been smacked up before, you know, but yeah, never, never exercised it. Those relationships went back to when I was you know, 21, 22 years old, and I just think, was I a jerk? You know, was I, you know, you know, a, a mean guy? You know, and I go, yeah, knowing what I know now, like, oh, 
severe depression, childhood trauma. I've had very few relationships, um, so I can, I can, I can gather um, what situations we're talking about. Um, yeah, I was not the best boyfriend all the time. But never hit a woman? Never hit a woman. I've never, my hands have never struck a woman, ever. After gaining critical acclaim for films like The Last Black Man in San Francisco, Major's once red hot career is now seemingly at a standstill. And how are you feeling? Moments after the verdict, Marvel Studios dropped him. He was set to play the prominent character Kang in upcoming films. I am Kang! But despite the possibility of serving time, Majors believes the script for his career is still being written. You think you'll ever work in Hollywood again? Yeah, yeah, I do. I pray I do. But it's, uh, it's God's plan and God's timing. For those who say, look, he's, he's convicted at this point, mm. what would you say? I mean, do you deserve a, a second chance? I think I do. I hope other people think that. During closing arguments, Jonathan Major's attorney said his worst fears as a black man calling 911 in America came true. Those words brought Majors to tears in court. He says race very much played a role in his arrest. He claims he was injured. He points to surveillance video where Grace Jabari pursued him, chasing him for blocks. She was arrested but never prosecuted. He calls that unjust. And we'll have much more streaming tonight at 7 p.m. on ABC News Live Prime and on Thursday on Impact by Nightline. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.